Hello, Astro Kids. And if you are here, that means that you are supporting me on Patreon. So thank you for being here. This is your August 2019 horoscope for the sign Taurus. And I am using the Barbieri Zodiac Oracle deck. the Connolly Tarot deck and the Ryer Tarot deck as well as some playing cards. So while I start pulling some cards, I'm going to go over the transits that are happening in the month of August. And if you see me look over, that's because I have some notes to make sure I get all the dates correct for the transits. So, starting off on August 1st, there is a new moon in Leo. And so we start the month of August off fresh. And this new moon is a gateway following the lunar eclipse that we had in Capricorn. So the lunar eclipse in Capricorn was a time of ending old structures, things falling apart which sort of left us in this void of emptiness. And so this place where we feel that void is in the new moon in Leo that is happening on August 1st. So this new moon is a time for you to start new projects, to start fresh, especially coming off of Mercury in retrograde, which Mercury comes direct on very late on July 31st. So we actually start off the month with Mercury direct. Now following that, August 2nd through August 4th, we have a moon and Virgo and the moon and Virgo is really a time to start planning things out so again with this doorway to happiness and to fresh new starts in Leo we have to start planning things out the way that we want them to go so with this moon and Virgo it will be very analytical and very detailed so not very emotional instead very grounded and practical. So this will be a great time for planning things out. Whatever you would like to see happen in the month of August, you can start planning those things out for yourself. Let me let you see the cards. Now, following this moon in Virgo, August 4th through August 6th, there will be a moon in Libra. And this will bring a lot of clarity. It will be a good thing, a good time to think things out and to find the areas in your life that need balance. If there's any areas in your life where you're really not happy or things are really not going as they should, this gives you an opportunity to put things into a peaceful perspective. And following that, August 6th through August 8th, the moon will go into Scorpio. And this is a very challenging position for the moon. The moon is in detriment in Scorpio. So the moon is very uncomfortable in this position. And this is due to the moon dealing with emotions 
and Scorpio takes us very deep into our feelings, especially into the darker feelings. And really, Scorpio has us face our demons so that we can go through this process of death and regeneration. Scorpio dealing with transformation. So for a lot of you, when the moon goes into Scorpio, any unresolved issues, any deeper feelings that you don't want to face, all of these things will start to come to the surface. So there will be a lot for you to work through. There will be a lot of room for change and transformation once the moon goes into Scorpio. And following that, the moon moves into Sagittarius, August 8th through August 10th. And the moon in Sagittarius is an explorer. This really gives you a time to seek out higher understandings, meanings, and reasonings in your life. To seek out higher truths. And to really look at your philosophies and your beliefs in your life and see if they are really serving you and what needs to be changed and worked on and improved. And following this, on August 11th, we have quite a few things happening. Jupiter does come direct. So we finally get to move out of this Jupiter in retrograde that we have been going through for some time now. And this really takes us out of this observational mode of looking at what our dreams, our visions are. And this really gives us a better sense of perspective. This also brings a great deal of blessings and good fortune into your life. Also, we know that going into August, Mercury has already come direct. Now on August 11th, Mercury does come out of Cancer and moves into Leo. And so the communication style changes. Instead of coming from an empathetic or emotional place, when we are communicating, as Mercury moves into Leo, communication becomes more bold, more outspoken. We start to gain the confidence to really speak from our hearts. And Mercury is in its fall position in Leo. And so this is where Mercury falls asleep. Mercury loses its power in Leo. And so the amount of ability to really reason and to look at the small details when communicating really starts to fade away. And so this, with this Mercury and Leo, it's really a time to be careful of the things that you say and how you speak. You really want to be careful with this more bold style of communication that you are not too outspoken or too egotistical with the way that you are communicating. Now also we have Uranus stationing retrograde and Uranus is in a new generational era now. It is in Taurus and so our way of understanding and finding reasoning in things is really from a very stable and structured point of view and the things that we really value now 
are definitely things that are higher, things that serve us on a spiritual level. And so with Uranus moving retrograde, when Uranus goes retrograde, this really sort of closes off the answers to us and puts us in sort of this state of confusion. Also this state of chaos as Uranus starts to tear apart things that don't serve us especially as it is in Taurus, dealing with the things that we value, dealing with the things that give us stability, the things that we love and appreciate, the things that we can really rely on in Taurus. And this is moving retrograde. So this is breaking apart these old traditions, these old systems, these old values, these old attachments that we have of the things that we used to love that don't really serve us anymore. Now also on August 11th, and this goes through August 13th, we have the moon moving into Capricorn. And the moon is in detriment in Capricorn. This is where the moon doesn't really work as well. And this is due to the, the moon dealing with emotions. And Capricorn is dealing with structure and order and setting goals and climbing to the top. So Capricorn is very hardworking and doesn't have time to deal with the emotions. And so this is sort of an area where we cut off or detach from our feelings as the moon moves into Capricorn. And it sort of gives us this time to really focus on our goals and to stay motivated and driven to actually completing the things that we've set out to do. Now on August 14th, the moon moves into Aquarius, giving us some more clarity and some more answers that we've been looking for. And this is a very good position as we have Uranus in retrograde. So we are sort of in this state of confusion and not really receiving the answers that we've been looking for. So this moon in Aquarius really gives us a ton of clarity at this time. And not only that, but on the next day, August 15th, this is a full moon in Aquarius. And so there's a really powerful amount of information and amount of answers that is out there for us. And the full moon in Aquarius will be interesting because Aquarius is sort of detached. Aquarius really focuses on the intellect and on the mind and how can we help humanity. And so there's sort of this attachment to our personal feelings in the way that we express our feelings. But this will be a really great time if you are looking for answers in your life. If you are confused, you will see this time of clarity. And of course, the full moon is always a good time to release, to reflect, to allow abundance to flow into your life. Now, August 16th through 18th, the moon moves into a position that it really loves in Pisces. And this is because Pisces is very emotional and sensitive. Now, now the moon does get a little lost in Pisces. Because Pisces does have a tendency to disconnect and to escape into imagination or into its own world. 
And so when the moon moves into Pisces, this will be a time where if you try to think things out logically or you try to pay too much attention to detail, you can easily get lost and confused. When the moon moves into Pisces, you really want to connect with your feelings and follow your intuition. Now, on the 18th of August, Mars also moves into Virgo. And for some time now, Mars has been in Leo, where we have felt very confident, very bold. Full of power, full of life ready to take action and as Mars moves into Virgo this grounds us a little bit this gives us some discipline some self-restraint now it also gives us more passion and more focus when it comes to When it comes to our goals and our daily routines, it definitely gives us a strong work ethic as we will be more detailed and focused. And on the 19th of August, Jupiter makes aspects with Saturn, which we have had this happen before several times throughout this period of North Node Cancer, South Node Capricorn. And This sort of gives us a taste of reality. This shows us which dreams are too big. This shows us what's really realistic and what is not, what we can actually accomplish and what we can't. And from August 19th through August 20th, the moon moves into Aries. Which sort of adds to the passion and excitement of this Leo season. With the moon and Aries, we really start to feel lively and passionate some of you may be feeling the need to be active and to get out and move and do something in your lives
And on August 21st, we have Venus move into Virgo. Now, Venus does not like being in Virgo. This is Venus's fall position. So this is where Venus falls asleep. So with Venus and Virgo, this is where we really start to have a lack of self-love. A lack of optimism, a lack of really seeing the beauty in life. With Venus and Virgo, this is where the inner critic really starts to come out. And it's important as you're looking at relationships to really look at your behaviors and the way that you react to things. This Venus and Virgo will really make you very analytical and detailed in relationships. And so you want to be careful of how critical you were being of yourself and your partner in the relationships that you were in. And this is not only in romantic relationships, but in relationships with friends and family as well. Now, one thing this position is really good at is really looking at how you can serve others in relationships and sort of looking at the weak areas and how you can improve on those areas. And also on August 21st, going through August 23rd, the moon moves into Taurus. And the moon loves being in Taurus. This is where the moon is exalted. So the moon is in its full power in Taurus. And so we will be extremely loving and empathetic as the moon moves into Taurus. very much in tune with our feelings and the sensations and what makes us feel comfortable and safe. And so that'll be really a good time to really look at how you are feeling, really take some time to relax and enjoy the moment. And that prepares us for Virgo season, which starts on August 23rd. And so as the sun moves into Virgo, this sort of slows down our desire to want to have fun and to really be active and lively. And this really puts us in a place of wanting to be grounded and hardworking and disciplined and also serving and helping others. And also on August 23rd through August 25th, the moon moves into Gemini. And this is kind of an odd placement. The moon is very emotional and Gemini is very logical. Now the moon is not opposed to being here because Gemini also deals with our familiar surroundings. And so 
but the moon is quite comfortable here. Now the struggle is finding a way to express feelings. Gemini is very detached from feelings. Gemini tends to live in the head, dealing with thoughts and communication. And so as the moon moves in to Gemini, we will start to really want to connect more, but it'll start very superficial, really dealing with communication. And then when the moon moves into Cancer, it becomes more emotional and more connected. which will be August 25th through August 27th. And August 28th through August 29th, the moon moves into Leo where we will feel more safe in expressing our feelings. You may notice people being more dramatic. More bold, more romantic. And then on August 29th through August 31st, we have the moon move into Virgo. And the moon will be in Virgo from the 29th through the 23rd, but on the 30th is when we actually have the new moon in Virgo. And so the moon in Virgo itself is very grounded, very practical, doesn't show much emotion. But with this new moon in Virgo, this gives us a portal to being more responsible for our lives. And being more analytical and practical in our approach to our feelings. And you will see that this goes along with this North Node in Cancer, South Node in Capricorn. Of really removing old structures and systems in our lives that no longer serve us. And that is it for the transits in August. There is not much that is happening in the month of August compared to July. July was a very intense month. And August sort of gives you a break from that. The overall feeling of August is much lighter. And so after these intense transformations that we all have gone through in the month of July with this eclipse season and Mercury retrograde, August really gives us a time to start fresh.
Now I am going to pick from the Barbieri Zodiac Oracle deck as a treat to those who have joined me here on Patreon. This will be a sneak peek at the month of September. We did end on a reverse card, so I will pull another card for you to get some clarity. All right, so starting off the month of August, we have Aquarius, and this brings great change and transformation and what a coincidence that we have this along with Pluto which also deals with transformation and so Aquarius being the breakdown or the breakthrough and Pluto being the death and regeneration and so a lot of you have some old things and this is really a continuation of what you have been through in the month of July. This is really the aftermath of cleaning out these old structures, these old systems that no longer serve you. And so for a lot of you, you have some old belief systems, some old relationships, some old jobs some old environments, some old friends, right? You have these things that, that you have begun to clean out or remove from your life. And this gets continued to completion as you start off the month of August. And this is followed by Pisces. So this is a very beautiful month for you. You get to dream big and create the life that you have been working to manifest. So I feel for some of you, you have really been doing some work and not only releasing, but also in manifesting and setting these intentions and really working hard on bringing this balance into your life. And so for the beginning of August, yes, this is showing an imbalance. This is showing a lack of peace and harmony in your life because there are things that you are working on 
And so to bring that balance in, you must complete these changes that you are going through. You must be your true unique self. You must walk in your true self. And so this is showing a spiritual evolution or a change, a breakthrough, a revolution in your lives. And for a lot of you, I see you moving forward. I see you changing your thoughts and your mindsets. And charging ahead in your lives with these positive intentions and mindsets. And this is very much about following your inner guidance, your intuition. A lot of you are being guided right now. So it's important for you to listen and to follow this guidance. And also, it's important to pay attention to how you feel as well. Make sure that you are responding versus reacting. And it does show for some of you that you are still stubborn. You are still holding yourself back. There is this with the Nine of Wands, there is this doorway for transformation. To act on this transformation, there's this doorway for you. And we see this in reverse as this is closed off. This is something that you are holding yourself back from. So again, with Uranus and Aquarius and Pluto, we saw this that you need to go through this transformation, this change in your lives. And I see that you have done the first part of changing your mindset, but we wanna complete this process. And a lot of you aren't completing this because you aren't willing to explore this. You aren't willing to have faith and hope in this. A lot of you aren't willing to change your values, your belief systems. And so this is really the next part that you have to work on in order to move in the direction of this change or transformation. And again, this shows up with the Four of Cups as well. This inability or the stubbornness when it comes to actually accepting this change or transformation that you must go through. And you have done the first part, but it's completing this process. And so, for some of you, you must be willing to accept this or to act on this or to take on this change, this transformation in your lives. And automatically, again, we see the same thing that we saw with Libra in reverse with this two of pentacles in reverse. We're seeing a lack of balance. 
lack of peace, lack of harmony. And for many of you, you have to come out of this duality mindset. Right, this mindset of good and evil. A lot of you need to change your thought processes because you have programmed yourself to believe or think in a negative way that does not give you results. So Taurus, we have some work to do in this month of August. And again, with the Two of Cups, in order to bring balance and harmony, you must accept this change or transformation. You must follow your intuition. We see this with the Cups. This is Cups. This is dealing with the water element. So follow your intuition. Feel this out, trust in the process, accept in this change in transformation. And we have the wheel of fortune in reverse. And so right now, for a lot of you, you are fated to move in a negative direction. Right, your options are not open to you at this current moment because we are restricting ourselves, right? You are cutting off yourself from this change, this transformation, this action that needs to take place in your life. And we see that with the Ace of Cups. This is divine offering. This is an offering from God for you to do the work that is necessary for you to have your best life. This is a divine offering. And this is what a lot of you may or may not understand as you are not believing or choosing to accept this. That this is a divine offering. And so your angels and your guides, they are speaking to you if you choose to listen to that intuition. A lot of you are not listening or accepting this offering. And we see the moon show up again, this time in reverse, because you are not listening to this guidance. So pay attention to those signs. Listen to what your guides are telling you. Right? Trust in the process that God has for you. And the Nine of Pentacles is in reverse. And again, we saw this before with the Nine of Wands in reverse. This ending or this transformation being blocked from you because you are blocking yourself. And so this is confirmation that a lot of you must follow your intuition. You must go and trust in this process.
this is important to building this new structure, this new foundation that is actually a value that actually serves you. And the Knight of Wands is in reverse. Again, you are not acting. You are not acting on this. You are not trusting in this process. You're blocking yourself in this. And again, same cards. We're seeing the Four of Cups in reverse this time. And so this shows me that there is an ability to accept this offering. There is an ability to trust in the universe if you choose to make this change. And it's no coincidence that we have the transition card right next to this. Right, this is this change that you have to go through, this death and regeneration, this transformation in your life by accepting, trusting in the process. And air is here. Because you must make a change. A change to move towards the sun. To move towards your inner happiness. To your inner truth. We want to move from the head space to the heart space. And a lot of you need this. You need to follow your intuition and your guidance to get to this inner happiness. This inner truth. You want to be living in your truth. But Aries is here. This requires action. This requires you to do the work. A lot of you are holding off or blocking yourselves from completing this. Right? Aries deals with self. A lot of you are not acting to serve your true self. And even with Jupiter here, we're talking about your higher consciousness, right? We're talking about you growing and expanding in your life. And so we need to take action to make this growth happen. Right? Jupiter brings luck, abundance, growth, success. We need to look at this intuition, this guidance that is being given to us. And we see this growth, right? This is September. And so as we're looking at August, it's asking us to make this change. And once we get to September, I will look at these cards again. Right, because this is the growth, the expansion that needs to take place. Now to continue the month of August. We start off with the Four of Hearts. And 
And so this does show stability and emotion. And for some of you, I see a new relationship. I see soulmates. Right, for some of you, this is highlighting love for you. And this is perfect, right? We are dealing with this Leo energy, this middle of the summer energy, this heart energy, this sun energy, right? And so a lot of you are getting into new relationships. Some of you are really starting to feel more connected in family. Some of you are expressing your feelings. So we see this with the four of hearts. And then we get the seven of spades. And so we see that And this is really speaking to me as far as relationships. We see difficulties in relationships. There's a lack of communication. Right, there's this confusion or this misunderstanding that needs to be removed from the situation. So a lot of you need to communicate. A lot of you need to change your thought process as well. And that deals with those of you who are going through this big transformation in your lives, changing your thought process. We see that with the seven of spades. Now with the eight of hearts, We see this, for some of you, this is this stubbornness, this unwillingness to actually trust in the process, to actually trust in God, to actually accept this transformation that you were going through. Right, this is eight leading to nine, which is the transformation. And for those of you, as we're looking at this in terms of relationships, we see a lack of movement or we see movement. And this goes along with this seven of spades dealing with this com confusion right this lack of communication and so you want to be careful with that especially as Venus enters Virgo you want to make sure that you are fully communicating your needs that you are discussing your partner's needs. This is important because I see this, this movement that could be separation or ending, right? Now this, this change or this transformation that you're going through, for a lot of you, if you choose to actually go through this, this leads to the Joker, right? This leads to 
this ability to have fun and to enjoy your life, to really come from this carefree, heart-oriented place in your life. So a lot of you are looking for happiness. So if you go through this transformation, it leads you to this happiness, leads you to the Joker. And for those of you who are in relationships, you want to communicate because it leads you to this happiness. Now, if this relationship comes to an end, know that this is meant to be, right? This leads you to this place of freedom, this place to work on yourself. And so that was for the month of August. We're going to do a quick sneak peek at the month of September. And I feel like the month of September is a breath of fresh air for you. I feel like after you have gone through this transformation, this gives you room to be free. Right? We see air, this freedom. This freedom to be happy, to enjoy your life. And for some of you, with Aries here, Aries dealing with self. And the fact that the sun is here as well, dealing with identity. For a lot of you, not all of you, but some of you, you do have work to do on yourself. And this is why this freedom is coming your way, right? So you can take this time to work on yourself. And for others of you, what this shows is a time where you will be active and passionate in what you are doing in your life. And that is why this happiness is here because you are moving to a place that you truly value, that truly means something to you, right? And it ends with this Jupiter, this abundance, this growth, this success, this prosperity. So keep that in mind. And again, for a lot of you, just to give a quick recap, a lot of you had some change and transformation that needs to be completed. You have started the work, but you need to finish it. And to do this, you need to trust in your inner guidance. You need to trust in this process that God has for you and to continue to move forward. Don't get stuck in where you are. Don't become stubborn or stagnant in where you are. And so Taurus, this was your August 2019 horoscope. Thanks again for joining me here on Patreon, and I hope you all have a great day.